what's up guys back with another video and today I'm in need of some new tires maybe hit a couple launches too many so um, right now I'm on the way over there to go grab those um, remember to like comment and subscribe and smash that notification bell and um, I'll see you over there so we finally made it over to uh, to the tire shop so I'm gonna run in here talk to these guys and then um, hopefully we can get these tires knocked out pretty quick all right guys so dropped off the car now um, went ahead and grabbed some star skis while we wait um, <laughs> Alex again, the celebrity. So we may, um, probably gonna go ahead and grab some food um, and then I'll let you guys know once the, uh, the tires are done. So it looks like they're uh, putting the wheels back on now from what I can see. So hopefully we'll be getting her back soon. See if I can, see if I can give you guys a little sneak peek. Ah, oh, come on, come on, what are you doing? I'm up in the like way. Move. Come on, dude. Dang, dang, oh, you thought. Aha. <laughs> there she goes yeah buddy so hopefully we get her back soon yeah buddy she's coming out yeah buddy all right don't stop don't hit anything <laughs> and don't stop Ooh, look, look at that so clean I'm gonna go get the car um, and then I will catch up with you guys. All right guys, got the car back. Here's what the new tires are looking like. So I went ahead and got the, um, they're called the Yokohama Advantage Apex. Um, so these are pretty nice. These are actually my first set of new tires ever on any car, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and hop in here and we'll see how she's riding. Got the car back and I will say, if you've never had new tires before, get some new tires it's crazy this thing feels like a completely different car so um, it's just so smooth like it was before um, and I don't know it just feels like it's so much more connected to the road so uh, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the car wash because Alex's car needs to be vacuumed um, as well as mine so we're gonna go ahead and head over there and um, I will see you then I made it over to the car wash now I'm gonna go ahead and spray off Alex's car here uh, so I'll go ahead and wash her car and then we're gonna vacuum both cars so uh, stay tuned and I'll give you a little time lapse here. All right, guys, we've got the car all finished up here, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the vacuums, and then I will catch up with you there. We made it over to the um, to the vacuums now, so we'll go ahead and knock this out. Got two cars to get through, so um, try to do it as fast as possible. But uh, her car is pretty <laughs> needs to be vacuumed pretty bad, so uh, this one this one may take a while. One mat down, three more to go, but this thing was pretty filthy, so I think it came out quite nicely compared to what it was. So a lot of times with these uh, these like mesh mats or material, whatever you want to call it, all that dog hair and dirt and whatever gets stuck in there. So I'd much rather prefer uh, like a rubber mat like I have in the Audi, but we got it clean, so that's all that matters. All right, 
right, guys. So finished up with Alex's car. Got the carpet looking clean, a lot better. Got the doors all shined up. Looking good, looking good. The dash, everything. Alex. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my car. Uh, probably not gonna record it just because for the time sake of the video. So I'm gonna knock that out real quick. Um, and then we'll probably head back home. All right, guys. So uh, right now we're headed over to my buddy Blake's house. Um, he's installing the black optics front grill on his Audi R8. So we're gonna go over there and assist him with that. Um, so I'll catch up with you guys then. Made it over to Blake's now. So um, I'll show you the R8. So he's got the front bumper off already. And then we'll come over here. He's got the black optics grill from Audi. So that's gonna look super clean. It used to be just chrome. So that's cleaner up pretty nicely, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can get the old grill off of there. Cause I guess he had to, so you had to cut off some, some rivets. Yeah, there's like two rivets that are from, from the factory that hold this whole piece on. There's one like right there. And then there's one on this side as well. And you cut them off. When you put the new grill in, you don't have to put them back on, but uh, I did have to cut it a little bit. The good thing is I only, only got the plastic on this, which is all replaced in the new one. So that kind of got charred, just like shard up, but got a new one, so it doesn't really matter. Sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this off of here. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna try to get this off of here. It seems like it's on there pretty tight, but we've checked and there's um, all the bolts and stuff are gone, so. Um, should be able to get it off here with some force and some patience. I don't really like, care about breaking this one. This, but like a bumper though. Yeah, that's what I don't want to break. It feels really tight here. Yeah. I wonder if this is like a. Oh, it is. Yeah. Like some type of. Yeah, oh my gosh, are you kidding me, bro? That's ridiculous. So if you're if you have an R8 <laughs> and you're doing it yourself, it's this little bitty. It's like um kind of like a push, push clip. clip. Yeah, so you gotta push it back and then it should release it and it should come up. Okay. So just an FYI. So you kind of have to push down on these and then push down on like the lower part of the, uh, the chrome trim. That way, uh, while the clip is down, you can kind of get it out. So now I think we just have to transfer over the wires and stuff, like the windshield, whatever, and like the headlight washers, and then pop them on the new one. And he should be rolling. So with the, um, the little sensor things that go right here in the front, um, there's like these little clamps. We snapped this one off, so and we'll probably end up with some super glue <laughs> putting this one back on, but um, you kind of get some pliers and squeeze it together and you can push it out. And then as far as the sensor, like the actual sensor on the side, uh, I think it's just like a little T5 or something super small. And, um, T10. T10. Yeah. So basically just grab a T10, you can unscrew those, um, and then pop the old sensor onto the new grill. And... All right guys, so we got all the sensors and stuff plugged back up there. Uh, can't really even see the middle ones, but got them plugged back up. So we're gonna weasel this back in here and plug all the um, wires and stuff back up and uh, throw it back on the car. So basically when you're going back and um, putting that on, you just want to make sure these clips here um, are all pushed in and you'll kind of hear it click once they're actually where they need to be. So um, give those a little bit of force and they should go on fine. Um, and as far as getting the grill back in there, it's on there. 
really, I'd say the hardest part was um, getting the grill off. We just weren't able to um, get it out after depressing the clip. So kind of had two people, uh, one pushed down and then one pushed it out and then uh, we got it off. So putting all these little screws back in. I don't know where they, <laughs> where they go because I was not here. Well, I don't know so. either. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I didn't know. <laughs> so we'll let him do all the screwing stuff back in. I don't want this thing flying off. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to use this. Very, very Plug your little sensor. Put What other R8 owner are you gonna see actually working on their own car? <laughs> Probably not one. <laughs> That's why there's no YouTube videos. <laughs> I was thinking about that today. I was like, yeah, there's probably not a whole lot of people who are gonna gonna rip it apart. Rip it apart. <laughs> so basically, um, once you get the grill back on, you put on that little uh, that little shield that goes below the um, bumper, whatever you want to call this, whatever you always call the reinforcement. Uh, then you put the reinforcement on, and plug in all of the uh, not all of them, but the two little missing clamps there. And then from there, I think she's about ready to go back on the car. Now you just got to plug back up uh, this little sensor right there. That controls like all your um, front sensors, whatever. And then we'll just have to lift her up and yeah. <laughs> get her on the car. There's two bolts that like go right there, right there. So I think we can mount those first just to hold it. Yeah. There's an assortment of bolts, but when you're pulling it off, I'm sure you'll run into all of those. So we'll go ahead and uh, get all these bolts thrown back on here, and then we'll catch up with you uh, once we get it all buttoned up and show you what it's looking like. All right, so there's a bolt right here in the wheel well that you have to get on there. Gotta kind of push up on the bumper. All right, so we just tightened up a lot of bolts on the uh, on the bottom of the car. I don't really know how many there is. <laughs> There's some big ones, some small ones. There's a, a whole lot of them. So uh, now we're just putting the final pieces on there. Had to, um, there's a couple of bolts under there that you had to tighten down. And then he's got the, um, I guess where the hood latch and all that stuff gets covered by. So we'll snap that up and then give you a little sneak peek. All right, so this is what it's looking like. Just gotta put that bolt, and that bolt. So there's a couple more things we gotta button up, but this thing looks awesome. All right, guys. So we just went ahead and uh, finished up the R8. So I'll show you what it's looking like. Man, Black Optics grill looks crazy. The LEDs kind of matches all of the other grills now, so uh, it's definitely definitely a nice little mod there. Sucks how we had to get it, but. Yeah, we got it, so. Yeah, that looks nice. Well, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Um, if you like the style of video that I did today, I kind of did like a vlog throughout the day. Um, go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know if you like that. Um, but other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.